Hi everyone, today I'm back with a new series of workouts and to kind of give a bit of a background on it, um, obviously it's been a while since I posted a video and to be honest, um, like a lot of people who want to get started working out or, and getting back into like a more consistent routine again with either working out or maybe it's uh, your diet's gone off um, on a tangent like far from where you want it to be um, maybe you, you've fallen away from regular training or like me you've kind of made a mountain out of the idea of coming back on a regular basis to post videos uh, to YouTube so in order to make that task or that that goal really um, an actionable goal like something I can realistically do then I had to become aware of what my blocks were um, from stopping me really from doing that and so I can kind of turn this into a little bit of uh, coaching advice um, in if you're in a similar boat then um, you can kind of take a leaf from this book and hopefully even these workouts themselves will give you a clue as to how to set yourself up for success and so I'm introducing a series of workouts that are simply three exercises long and up to three rounds um, I guess up to three exercises long because it's about setting the bar lower for yourself so that you're more likely to succeed and so that might look like um, one exercise it might look like two exercises it might look like just one set of something and as counterintuitive as that sounds because you think well I need a complete workout well no what you need first is consistency and you need to ensure yourself uh, ensure success for yourself and the one way to do that is to find something that you can do and that you will do right now so for me right now I can manage to do short videos I don't have much to edit it doesn't become a whole big thing I'm going to make the workouts doable for my current uh, fitness level <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy the process of encouraging others along the way with this example of how you can really set the bar at any height for yourself and there's a really important lesson in this for all of us and um, well it's about knowing yourself knowing yourself being that you know that you're less likely to do something if it has all of this in it or it has that particular exercise in it it has that particular setup that really just makes it boring or makes it exhausting it seems too advanced it seems like oh I have to achieve all of these things and I have to do it perfectly and why bother trying it all if I'm going to fail that really sounds like inside my own head so today is a special day for me in order to get back into this I'm setting it up so that I can do it and that the three exercises are going to be modified for my current abilities meaning that um, they won't necessarily look like they used to this is another reason why knowing yourself and the self-doubt that comes in the reasons why you should do something because it's not perfect or it's not the way it used to look or people will think whatever that these are the things you really have to start shutting out and these are things this is a journey it's not like oh all of a sudden I'm going to decide it that can happen but the actual process takes time and my last videos I was talking along the same lines I was really saying what I wanted to to be able to do I wanted to believe it and I just wasn't there yet so um, I'm a bit closer to that now and hopefully you can see that it this applies to anything whether or not it's actually training whether or not it's achieving a particular task at school or in your your work or maybe your family you have a particular goal that you're all working toward and it, it takes time it takes steps and so this is the first step to hopefully coming back on a regular basis providing short and sweet uh, doable workouts along with um, some insight and some questions uh, perspective perhaps um, on different aspects of my own particular struggles and hopefully if I can get 
more engagement again on the channel and on my Facebook and places that um, I can also help you with your specific uh, questions as well because ultimately we're all in this together and uh, sometimes what one person is going through can really help um, others in the community if these things are shared and so that's really what I see myself doing it's not just about these workouts um, it can be for some people this is the the one thing that they really want to start doing and really doing on a regular basis is to and gradually build up these healthier skills healthier habits and that that adds something to your life um, in an area, maybe balance or whatever it is that you feel that is not complete um, or could be expressed more. And one part of life is exercise and another part is um, understanding yourself, understanding your own insecurities and things that generally seem to hold you back in lots of things. So I invite you to join me in this very short series of very short workouts and to qualify it as being a workout, like it doesn't have to contain so many exercises, like there's not a particular number. Today I'm going to give a particular number to it and it's going to be one exercise. Just do one thing. And that may not even be an exercise for some people. I've had people just count going to the gym, like drive to the gym, go in the door, that counts. And then that's the starting point. And over time the going to the gym becomes a habit and while you're there you start to feel like you want to do something and before you know it you're starting to exceed you're starting to surpass the bar like on a regular basis which is very motivating that instead of setting it here and always falling short you set it here and then you're more likely to do a little bit more it doesn't have to be that way but it, because it's about establishing a consistent routine but it's a start and so I want to invite people to come along with it, this kind of journey and sort of if you are struggling uh, to kind of get into a more regular regime again then please um, feel free to subscribe to the channel so that you can get those updates and also please ask questions below um, any suggestions any if you want to share what's going on with you then feel free and uh, any questions I'll hopefully be able to deal with at the beginning or the end of these videos so before I begin, I also want to ask you if you can think of a name for this series because I want to make a playlist and of it just on its own. Just um, I'm really bad at thinking of um, names for stuff and I was thinking it's going to be three exercises, three rounds for three days a week, uh, for three weeks um, or whatever, like just sort of a way to kind of put that like short, I don't know what to call it, short, sweet that's kind of meh. So if you don't mind I would gladly accept um, offers of names for this series so then it can be kind of its own thing but um, it's great to be back and uh, this is a huge step for me and I'm looking forward to the rest of the videos and I hope you will too. I hope you will too. I will get these words right someday so I'll see you in a minute and as I explain the exercises and then I will uh, do the workout as usual. It'll be edited so it's just kind of give you an idea of how it looks and then I will uh, round it up at the end. So the three exercises for today are um, a modified squat um, as I can't squat fully right, yet, right at the minute, um, side to side step overs on a low step for me and um, single leg Romanian deadlift and it's just body weight. Now remember the point of this uh, this series of small workouts like this is to get into the habit of doing something um, on a regular basis and so for me it's obviously the filming and also just getting back to filming me working out in front of my uh, YouTube channel again and uh, really starting to feel good about that. So to take everyone along in the journey with me um, also helps because I know there are still people out there who are struggling like me in just maybe different ways but struggling all the same to get um, back into a particular um, healthy habit. And um, so 
the, uh, I'll offer some uh, ways to progress and regress these exercises, just depending on when you're at, where you're at. So the modified squat for me, I'm actually going to stand over this. I'm not going to sit onto the box, but I'm just going to use it so that I can tap my hands because I feel like this is a good depth for me right now. And I don't really have a box at the right height to sit on. If you wanted to um, use a chair or a box behind you or even like a coffee table, you can sit back onto it, control that movement down and then driving up. Especially if you know, you're know you used, uh, you're not used to doing any squats and uh, you're kind of nervous about sitting backward. Um, maybe you're seeing yourself shifting forward in the knees. You really wanna try to sit back a little bit into the hips so that you can um, use your glutes and your hamstrings more rather than putting so much stress on the on the quads to do everything um, and the other thing you want to be aware of is that your feet are wide enough a lot of times we're not squatting wide enough we're kind of squatting over our legs and our knees cave in and it's kind of rounded uh, awkward so you want to like uh, feet wide so that you can, wider than hips, so that you can actually squat between your knees and, and keep the chest a little more upright. So that means, that's why I like this, I'm just gonna go down and tap like so. The next exercise then is side to side step over. One of my favorites, and obviously before um, this ongoing pain, uh, chronic pain that I have, um, the range of movement I was able to do was much greater than this. It was probably up the high, high level here, and usually with a weight. But um, where I'm at right now is just stepping over and then down the other side. I can actually do it quite quickly now. And so what I'm going to do is shift my weight into the foot that's working, which is the one on the bench. You're just going to shift into the whole foot, so then you can drive up and swap over and then you're going to shift your weight into this foot before you're coming down so you're not away over here and losing balance this means that the whole foot is engaged and it's where you're getting your balance from slow it down obviously if this is a new one for you you can st stand up and then step down it doesn't have to be fast it just needs to be good or as good as you can get it if that sideways movement is causing balance issues then you can do straight on step ups alternating sides like this and then obviously you can kind of speed it up as well as you get better at it and I would honestly I would increase the range of movement as in higher step before adding weight so that's a nice way to progress range of movement first um, probably actually I would do longer time or do try to speed it up a little bit at the level you're really confident at. Finally then, the exercise, oh I didn't really say how to progress the exercises, so I just kind of assume you'll know to do uh, like a heavier squat with a weight, um, either a box squat again, increase the range of movement so you're squatting down further or else just use more weight like a goblet squat where you're holding the weight in the middle elbows into the side so your elbows are between your knees as well and not out over and or else you can kind of rack a kettlebell or two and do front squats and you can do all of these squats on a box if you wish um, or squat to the box tap and go kind of thing but it, you know that's entirely up to you to progress the side to side step overs, I did mention that. Um, and then I, at some point, was using like a small weight, like a six kilogram kettlebell to do those side to side step overs. That was a killer. And then finally, we're on to the third exercise, which is another lower body exercise. It's gonna really work the hamstrings and glutes and balance, single leg Romanian deadlift. Don't worry about the balance just yet. If you're really struggling to keep your balance, you can actually do this on two legs and then you're just hinging back. But I'll show you on one leg. You're gonna plant the foot, making sure that your weight is distributed through the whole foot so that when you're sitting back, your toes aren't coming up um, off the ground because you're just gonna lose balance. You're gonna shift your weight too far back. So keep your foot really grounded, almost grip into the floor a little bit. You can hold on to the wall if this balance is really a problem. I'll be doing that with my other leg anyway. So then your resting leg is going to be straight. Your hips are going to be square to the floor. In line is with your shoulders really, so you're not kind of twisted. Then 
you're going to try to keep the core engaged so you're not arching or bending forward or kind of arching your butt away back. You want to kind of keep your, your spine neutral and you kind of do that by squeezing almost like for if somebody's going to punch you but not like crazy hard just enough to stop any sort of excessive movement in your midsection. Once you're doing that then you're just going to sort of fold at the hips as if somebody's pulling your hip back you can kind of hold on. You want to feel a stretch down the back of the leg. The leg isn't poker straight Ah, that's killer, right? So you just want to have a, a little bit of a stretch um, happening here, but you want to like almost feel it through the whole hamstring and into the glute. And if you start feeling it in the quad at the front here a little bit more, you may be actually bending the knee too much. So try to keep the shin fairly vertical. Then there is a slight knee bend, but not excessive. And the main movement here is through the hip. So it's like you're pivoting back and forward, squeeze the butt, like so. Okay, and as I said, you can regress this further by just doing uh, with body weight and two legs. And you're just gonna put your hands on the front of your legs. Again, try not to arch too much, keep that sort of nice and flat at the front. And you're not gonna reach forward, so it's not a big bend. You're actually just gonna sit back as if you're kind of resting like this. I mean, you may want to rest like that afterward, but this is a hip hinge, feeling the stretch behind at the back of the legs again. Feet planted so you're not coming up. And then just straighten up. Bend and straighten. Hinge back to your... And you can kind of cue yourself by keeping your hands here sliding all the way down like so. Okay, so that's a hip hinge. Progress this by single leg, obviously. No brace. Um, you can add weight as well. You can use a single kettlebell down the same side. If you are using a weight, don't let the weight shift away or kind of drift away out in front. It's going to encourage kind of uh, improper and e inefficient form because you're not going to get the benefits into the actual hip and hamstring happening there. So keep the weight really close and then drive back up again. You can also do a swing, a kettlebell swing, if you're really kind of bored with the RDL. It's kind of a bit slow. So if you do want to keep the fast pace, then I would say add in some kind of kettlebell swing. But only if you're you're, you're kind of proficient at those. Okay, that's the explanation. Exclamation! Well, it's an exclamation of oh my goodness, but. Uh, explanation of the exercises and so um, I'm going to get on with this, my warm-up first and then I'll see you back here in just a split second for the beginning of the workout. Okay, getting ready. Don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, getting ready. Ready for your squat. Off we go. Feels good. Remember to try to have fun. <laughs> Workouts can be very serious. I don't know why. But they shouldn't be. They're not intimidating, they're fun. <clears throat> side to side step overs. My one of my favorite exercises. It's just bouncy and fun. And you can kind of tap into the bench that you're on if you want to have like a deeper um, side squat into that. Remember to kind of keep your weight on that front leg, the main leg doing the work. So abs engaged, you can put an arm out in front to kind of counterbalance, foot planted, knee slightly bent, weight into that hip, really feel the kind of stretch down the back of the legs and drive up. Go as far as you can without kind of rounding your back forward. And I know my form isn't perfect. I'm not looking for perfection right now. I'm just looking for done and safely and enjoyably. The less I focus on being a stickler for my form, then 
the more I actually enjoy this stuff. <clears throat> This side, I'm going to use two arms as my counterbalance because this leg is slightly better. I think sometimes the hardest part of these is when you're hinging back that you'll rotate round. So just watch that doesn't happen. Because then it's not so much hip flexion as it is hip external rotation. And while external rotation is good to work, it's not for this exercise. Ooh. That was bad. Okay, that's round one. Okay, my hair, my hair. Oh, side to side step overs. This room is so small. Okay, we enjoy it, have fun. fast. What you're doing is good. Okay, single leg. It's like 30 degrees outside in Celsius. That is Celsius. don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. It's like 90 or something. Driving forward with the hip. I could probably use a weight on this side. Soon, focus on balance. I have a habit of arching, so it's hard for me to kind of engage the front of my core. Okay, end of round two. We'll begin round three when you're ready. Final round for me, and whew, feels good. Hopefully I get this done before the camera overheats. It's like a sauna in here. Okay, keeping my chest up, focusing on really just feeling this through the legs as evenly as possible. Another thing that might happen is that your toes are coming up or your heels. Just wanna to try to sit in a range of movement. Maybe your feet aren't wide enough um, so that that doesn't happen. It gives you more scope for getting uh, that flexibility to sit down between the knees. And there we go. Ah, oh, feels good. Probably increase the range of movement on those soon. So hopefully you're all up to speed and this is going well for you, as well for you as it is for me. So side to side step overs. Last round of this and Feels good. See, when it's only three exercises, it just it's so doable. It's like I can do that. I'll slow down a bit. And three rounds. And this time. saying it's good because it is good. This whole thing is good. <clears throat> so. so, final exercise. Oh. Final half. And then there's one more half of this. So, engaging the core. You almost want to feel like you're only folding here at the hip, pushing back and then pushing forward again. Try not to use like momentum like that to get out, out of it. Don't worry too much if the rear leg is kind of not, you can't really focus on two things at once sometimes. You want to have it kind of straight out the back as much as possible so this glute is engaged, but it's okay if that doesn't happen. I realise I said it, I wasn't actually going to film the whole thing, but it changed my mind. You deserve a full workout. 
deserve to watch me dying in the heat here. <clears throat> it actually feels good. Okay, I said that before. It feels good to just be doing this. I'm not worrying too much about too many of the details other than it's something. Done is better than perfect. And I think that friend of mine told me that once and I was having one of my perfectionist phases. Okay, so I think I'm twisting a little bit too much there. I feel that balance is off. And we're done! Success! I met my goal. Now what you do, what we'll do, well you can do separately is uh, go and kind of cool down, stretch out a bit. It was such a short workout that a little bit of stretching, a little bit of uh, just congratulate yourself on doing it and uh, that's really, you want to kind of feel good after uh, the workout. So <clears throat> let me just get that stretching done and I'll see you in just a second. Okay everyone, that's it for today. I, um, I want to thank you for uh, joining me on this and uh, I hope you'll continue to tune in to the next videos in this series and uh, hit subscribe, uh, share this with friends or family that you think might be uh, ready to hear this. That was weird. I think that was my cat destroying something. That you might, that may be ready to hear this. Uh, this message or ready to get going again and it's a way to um, make it less intimidating that uh, everybody's kind of working toward the same type of goal, uh, me included, so um, hopefully that will be a huge uh, kind of reassurance or validation even in what you're doing. So um, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I do want to uh, help as much as I can. Um, there's going to be, like I say, three weeks of three exercises or three workouts per week that contain three exercises. So if anybody can come up with a snappy name for that, that would be great. Um, so full details of the workout, um, where will I put them? I'll put them in the description below this video and I'll also put a link to my website there. And while everything will be on the website as well. Um, you are free to sign up to my newsletter there. Um, I do send out updates, uh, especially when I have random thoughts and stuff and additional uh, offers and whatnot go out there. So if I, I don't bombard people, so don't worry about that. <laughs> but if you are interested and like you do enjoy what I what I do here, then sign up there and also subscribe to the channel to get the next updates. So once again, thank you very much, and I will see you soon.